Yeah, 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 peace, bless, love Give thanks to that man above You're now rocking with Mr. Uncommon The Fresh Prince himself, Izzy Finesse And your boy Josh Welcome, Welcome to Off Experience Podcast Remember y'all experiences are out there Let's go and build them shits Ooh, let's Whoa. go Off the top of the dome. Let's go. I'll be blessing y'all niggas with these quotes too much, man. I hope y'all appreciate these. These are literally from the top of the head, yo, for real. Dome. <laughs> Telling y'all, son. Real quick, before we start, I just want to say something, man. Last episode, I mentioned something about the Creed movie, about Rocky Balboa dying. He did not die, by the way. Ah, wow. you see this? That was a, that was a, bro, you, yeah, I, see I appreciate this. you. No, I got to bring yeah. that up. because I appreciate you know, it. We do have fans. Right, I appreciate and the fans that. Do reach out to us. I just want to let y'all know. <laughs> and one of my, one of our, one of my many, many fans, he, right. he, he, right. he, he literally hit me up. No, yeah, I, I, said out he didn't die. He didn't die. No, he wasn't and in the show. He wasn't show. After. I wasn't. No, no, yeah, what, no, what, I said I didn't die, but no, I was like, oh, damn. You know what? what I didn't. I guess yeah, if that you say that, no. Like, what yeah. happened was for y'all who didn't see the movie. I'm not gonna ruin it for y'all, but real quick, Rocky decided to move to Canada. That's where his son lives. So he went to go. Rebuilt his relationship with his son. No. <laughs> oh. That's what happened. So I want to bring that up real quick. I'm sorry, y'all, real quick. I it's all good. Nah, it's all yeah. good. You know, we, uh, you know, <laughs> fact check. You know what I mean? You know, <laughs> it's always good to reassure. You know. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. It. Nah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had to bring it up. Tears, cheers, cheers, cheers. guys, cheers. I, I, I learned from my mistakes. Thank so you, from sir. that point Thank on, you, I was like, you know what? Yeah, you got it, my guy. I start, I start doing better research. <laughs> bomb for me, please. Got it, bomb. <laughs> yeah. But here we are, though. Episode 10. Episode 10. Let's go. Let's keep it. Episode 10. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. We in there. Uh-huh. We in there. Also, One more appreciate, appreciate the fans, too, and everything. You know, we made it to 100 followers on Instagram. Ooh. You know. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. 100 followers. We, 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 we almost at 100 to um on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Almost. You know, almost there. You know, I'm going to say almost because... We almost there. We are like, you know. No, I say we say we almost there because we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Wouldn't be able to do it without y'all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you know? much. So with that with, with that plug-in, please go like, share, comment, subscribe. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It makes our page grow. You know what I mean? So we can sit here and give y'all these <laughs> content. You know what I'm saying? I'm with it. You with it? got to chill with these bombs. Hey, listen. <laughs> yeah, they're already saying this. That's it? That's it? All right. All right. Yeah, they said it already. Right right, like, yo, this man. No, no, no. Anyways, <laughs> listen. We, we just having fun, man. We here. Hey, hope everybody's blessed. Hope everybody's doing well. How, y'all, every, fe- how y'all feeling? I'm good. I'm good. good? I'm good. Yeah. My man. Yeah. Nice is getting, My man. The weather's getting nice. Yeah. It is getting nice. It is getting nice. Listen, today we filming, right? But today, just when it comes out, I'm going to call it right now. Right now, Tank. Tank. What that mean? He gonna fucking knock the shit out of Ryan, so. bro. I don't think so. You don't think so. Hey, yo. He gonna put that man through sleep, man. I don't, I don't think what? so. What? No. I don't think so. Why? You going for Ryan then? I'm going for Ryan. Why are you going for Ryan? If Ryan gonna fuck this nigga up. You think so? Yeah. That little fucking, little pretty boy ass. <laughs> he gonna man. fuck him up. Man, he don't, he don't come from the trenches, B. I don't give a he fuck. He don't come nigga. from the trenches, bro. Skill, shit, it's nigga. all about skill. At that it's all, all about skill skills. and knowledge of the game, baby. <laughs> come on, bro. Stop, it's all about bro. skill and knowledge of the game. My son Tank is a Yo, pit bull, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. Way, I'm going to tell you right now, son. The yeah. only way this man might do something is if, if Ryan's dumb enough to actually pay attention mentally to what he's either going to say to him and, and brawl with Ryan's the guy. Ryan's never been there, B. It's not that. He's never been in those lights, tank, bro. Tank. Those lights get hot. No, I'm not even going to say tank. Fuck those that name, nigga. Get, those lights Fuck get hot, Fuck that name, nigga. Bro. His name is Javante, nigga. Those lights get His hot. His name is Javante. When, right? those, when he's under Javante. those lights. Javante. All right, Javante right. Tank Javante, Davis. No, Javante. <laughs> Listen, that little. That little it's boy. a brawler. Yeah, bro. And he going to lunge at him? Nah, yeah. No, no. no. That's Once that's he get that quick lunge. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong hand. With the left. Right on the temple. That's all he talk about the left. That's He's what, gonna hit that's him. That's what he talk about the left. So think about it. Isn't that a strategy though? Man, I'm gonna talk true. about the left. I'm that's gonna what, talk that, about the left because I'm gonna knock this nigga out with my right. Listen, <laughs> the Javante is a is a all around fighter, bro. Nah. I'm telling you, bro. But listen, today is the fight. We we'll filming on fight day, we'll right? See. Today's the fight. So Davis, 
Uh, uh, Ryan. Ryan. I'm going with Javante. Javante, listen. <laughs> when this episode comes out Tuesday, hit my man up right here and talk wow shit. <laughs> wow shit. Hit him in the comment like, nigga, you crazy? Oh, you fucking like that? I hope we do the same thing know. for y'all. I don't like, like talking that. too much before the fight nah, happens. I don't, yeah, I'm going to talk. Be talk I'm going to talk. talk. The most shit, that you don't have like, confidence, like, bro. Yeah. You don't have confidence, bro. Like, that's it. You got to have confidence. Especially for the niggas that be betting. Uh, I don't be betting. Hey, yeah, yeah he's I, sports I, man, I, right? Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I just well, like watching it. I don't bet. Yeah, I don't want to have to worry about. Yeah, that, I don't bro. like gambling. <laughs> I don't like gambling. I'm a sports man. It, 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 it goes away from uh, my finance, my financing. Word. Yeah, really you know does. what I mean. Because yeah, yeah, if I if I get that little hiccup of a lot of money, I'm gonna like <laughs> again and again and again it's and again you, and again. How you go broke? Yeah, and you it's go how, broke. That's how you go broke when you gamble. When you got a problem gambling, that's how you go broke. Yep. So Actually, don't not tell everybody to go gamble. But if you have a problem, call. I don't. We don't have a number. <laughs> gambling problem. No, I think it's one eight hundred gambling problems. That's what it is. Yeah. There you go. One eight hundred oh. gambling problems. Gamble. Yeah. Or which, gamble. Which which is great because it's gonna lead to our first topic. Yes, it is. Financial literacy. Perfecto. Financial literacy. That shit landed great. You know, it, a disclaimer, we're not um, financial gurus. <laughs> you know what Word. I'm saying? Like, we're not financial gurus. Our mm. credit scores is not 800. Our credit 800. score, you know what I'm saying? But we're working towards it, though. We're working right? towards but it. Right? But what we're going to share with y'all is um, personal experiences, um, you know, that we've been through and we're going through, right? And what, what messed us up was helping us, right? And that's as far as we will... Uh, throw knowledge out there, financial literacy, right? Mm -hmm. Just for the people that really don't have any clue at all, and maybe know less than us mm -hmm. of you know of of this topic, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or so, maybe, or maybe somebody can even teach us. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Hit us in the comment. Mm -hmm. You know, if we saying something that is fucked up. Oh, they, at the end of the day, it's no fabrication because we went through it, and yes. if it worked for us, whatever the case is, happened to us, then obviously. Mm -hmm. Different story for different people, right? Yeah, yes. Even now, so, like the fact that I'm still I'm still learning about financial literacy, still got a long way to go. Of yeah, course, yeah. man. She. But, so I could probably maybe learn from y'all too. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, yeah. That's that's the whole point of that, right? Like, oh, we might learn from you. <laughs> Never know, bro. You know what I mean? So listen, for 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 y'all that you know don't even know where to start, or you know, excuse me, excuse me. You know, we advise. Just, you know, start off with like a little, you know, a little, uh, little prepaid card, you know, build, yeah, no, serious, build your credit there. You, you don't have to have fucking 900, 800 credit score yeah. just to, to feel like you, you're doing something, right? Yeah, you start right. off slow, right? Yeah, um, right. and I say that just to go into my story with how I fucked up my shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I had went bankrupt before, mm. Right? Um, I was young. I didn't understand financing at all. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't understand financing at all. Like what we just money, you work, money, credit card, cool. Broop, 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 spend, broop, it. Broop. spend it. Swipe, swipe. Swipe, time. swipe, <laughs> swipe. Man, fuck it. I'll pay it later. Like I'll pay the minimum. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, whatever I, I didn't know about utilizations percentage. You know what I'm saying? Like the um like giving the minimum. Like you not you never paint anything off when you give the minimum. So if y'all feel like if y'all get a credit card, y'all buy something, and all y'all do is paint, yeah, I'm gonna pay the minimum. That shit only pays off interest. <laughs> that was my man. problem too. That was my problem. That was your problem? Yeah, that was my problem. And I just yeah. I just like learned that because my <laughs> I would keep putting the minimum, minimum, my credit score is not going up. It's not it wasn't going nowhere. It was just staying the same. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was the yeah. the dollars was the next day you 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 see your your your, your interest. More the next month, like, yo, what the fuck? Did I just pay the minimum? How the fuck this shit is more than what the fuck it was last month? We don't put that into play. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just minimum just to say either keep money in our pockets or whatever mm -hmm. the case. We, fuck, we start fucking shit up until it's too late. That's facts. Mm -hmm. And that was my thing right there. It was too late. I was going crazy. Um, and my, it was just choo -choo, piling up. Yeah. And at the end of the day, your income mm -hmm. is it's not going to... Or, or, or sorry, sorry, your spending or, or your your debt is not gonna reflect your income, okay? Right or vice versa, however you want to see it. Like, uh -huh. you, you, you're gonna be behind a lot, of course. When when you take when you go over too much, mm -hmm. right? So I had a decide made it make a decision, you know, to go bankrupt when it was already mm. it was already overwhelmed. It was too much already. Yeah. Like, or, or tell the people why you chose to go bankrupt. I wanted a fresh start. 
Okay. I wanted a fresh start, right? And, you know, people say that bankrupt is, is you know, it's like a detrimental thing. It's bad. You got to understand, a lot of these corporations, they, you, they, they do bankruptcies. Yeah, like, I know most, I know uh, a little bit of bankruptcy about, about it. Like, if you go bankrupt, you don't pay nothing to nobody. No. Well, I, you, I did a chapter seven. Right, there's a chapter eleven. You got different chapters. Just right, what's two. That? What's just that? two. I'll be honest. See, that's one thing I should have did my facts on. Like, I know it's just different uh, chapters we, we, of finance. Yeah, like that's chap- chapter seven mm-hmm. and chapter eleven, right? Mm-hmm. Of bankruptcy. Um, I did chapter seven, which I didn't have to owe anything. I gave my assets up. Mm-hmm. I gave everything up, and uh-huh. I, I even gave. I had a truck that I that I, that I, that I had. I was financed. I gave that in. Everything was under under that debt. Yeah. Right. Wiped it out, stays in your credit report for like seven years, seven to 11 years. Yeah. Right? You know, but even with that, right? Mm-hmm. Even with that, after that happened, I started, okay, I started educating myself, doing my homework, how to, how to build your credit back up, okay. how, to, how to maintain your financing, to not go crazy and overspend the same way I was doing before. I needed a fresh start. Right, so you know I had got a a, a Capital One card, mm-hmm. you know, um, and I started with that, started with that little by little. I will pay, I will buy something because you have to use your, your your credit, right? That's one thing too. I would advise y'all, don't use your cash, mm-hmm. right? Don't use your cash. Mm-hmm. Use credit, right? Yeah. Use your credit, and then with your cash you pay it, right? Build that because in this world, listen, you, you need money and crap and credit. It makes sense too. It makes sense to use your credit cards too. Mm-hmm. And I'm just getting in the habit of, of, of using my credit cards more than rather than just using my debit and just spend it. Because once you spend it, that's it, it's gone. That's it. Like you basically just spend however much you spent. And with using your credit, you could be spending, but at the same time, it's also helping you build credit at the same time. So mm-hmm. you could just use your credit and then after that, pay it off. Pay it off. And like what I do, I put in. Like, whenever my bill is due, I'll probably put in, like, 30%. Instead of just putting the minimum, I'll just do whatever um, is the is the amount that I have to pay. Okay. I'll just... Oh, 30, 30% of, of the whole full I mean, amount? I mean, yeah, yeah, the whole full amount. I'll look at the full amount, whatever, do a 30% of that, and I'll put that down. Okay. Because okay. also, like how you said, with the, um, with the utilization, is a good thing to also not use more than 30% of what your limit is. Mm. Hear that. So, there you go. What you, what he's saying? It, um, reiterate on, on on the like the whole, like thirty percent of of your whole, your yeah, whole limit. So, like, yeah. So, the thirty percent is very important. But um, but that's I, big. Like, yeah, people like, don't understand I'm, that. Like as I'm learning to, like I have like I look at I also look at the chart and it, it tells me like what's great, what's good, what's like average, mm-hmm. and you know what's like what's not good. Yeah. And it said at least like zero to like ten percent is great. And mm. then, like, good is, like, 20 to 30. Mm. And then yeah. after 30%, and that's, that's it. it. It's, just, it's just not good at all. Yeah. So, that is true. That's yeah, interesting. I'm, yeah, I'm learning that, too, as, as I'm going on with my credit journey. So so, so if you have $100 on your credit, right? You got $100 on your credit card. Don't use more than $30, mm-hmm. right? Basically, you can use a Metro card payment, uh, gas. Yeah, th- see, th- see, that's the thing too, right? That people feel like, oh, if I get a credit card, what I'm going to use it on or how I'm going to build yeah. daily things that yeah. we use and we use our cash. Right now, everywhere takes credit cards. Yeah. Everywhere, right? Guess what? Look, for example, got an Apple card, right? Mm-hmm. And they give you a percentage back. So these cards, they give you percentages back, right? When you use your card, your debit card or cash, what kind of percentage you're getting back? A percentage of knowing that you're gonna be broke in the next couple of hours. You know what I'm saying, right? Like so so if 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 that's the case, then you know what? Fuck if if a card is offering me two, three, four, five percent mm-hmm. cash back, it's still something. It's better it's than something. 0%. It's yeah. something but that's the mindset of how you need to start maneuvering things around. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. My, my uh, Rosemary is really big on that, like really big on, on credit. On, 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 on credit, yeah, yeah. I, I learned from her. Everything yeah. that that I know so far is basically from her. What she knows from credit, and even knowing the littlest things will get you a yeah. long way. Yeah. It will. Yeah, will get yeah. you a long it does, way. I'm not gonna lie, man. Um, 
Bank of America, me and Bank of America were like enemies. That was the first bank I ever banked with. Why and you say that? Dude, hey, man, I, I got Bank of America. Dude, this is when I was I, working. I, I, I'm about to, I'm, that's another, it's real quick. Bank of America, I'm about to search why you keep talking. I'm about to be gone too, because I'm about to tell you <laughs> where I'm going. Okay. No, because I, I, I never did anything with banking before. I had no knowledge of it. So yeah. they told me, sign up with Bank of America with the job. You know, it'll be better for you. Blah, you blah, did blah. it through the job? Nah, I just did it on my own. Mm. So boom, right? I was broke one day, and I said, you know what? Let me use this one hundred dollar thing I got on Bank of America. Uh-huh. Right? Completely forgot to pay it back. Nigga, they <laughs> put me on a fucking cap the lap, lap collection. Then I moved, so it never got oh, to wow. me. Right? What? Yeah. Then this shit kept rising up to a certain amount. Then they put me on a fucking pause with, for seven years. Seven years I could not sign with no other bank, bro. Cause it, just because of the of Cause Bank of America. A, Bank of America is one hundred dollars, wow. bro. Man, have I learned from that, bro? So you was basically you basically just kept being in debt because mm-hmm. it kept adding on and adding on to that hundred dollars. Until the seventh year was up, and they said, "All right, look, we'll cut a negotiation with you. Give us the hundred dollars." <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <Yo, laughs> they still want that hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's wicked. Everything. It's wicked. So I it's looked at wicked. it. And I was like, "All right, you know what? Cool. Let me do that." Cause I, I I I was just getting into a, a serious relationship with my wife, and, and I knew one day we we're gonna get married, and eventually credits do get yeah. involved. Cred- credit catches up to you, you man. know what I'm saying? And I did not want that to reach up to me with her if we getting yeah. somewhere together. You know what I'm saying? So I say, you know what? I see what I can do with this, and that's know. funny. I still can't believe that after seven years they still wanted yeah. that hundred cash, and I couldn't <laughs> sign up with no other bank. You and know how mad true. I was? Yeah, yo, I had TD Bank was still this, this like really really close. To, to sign you? To accept. To, to sign you? Yeah, because I was giving in the cash coin, the, the coins in the mm-hmm. coin store. So they were like, all right, every time I get the receipt, why don't you open up a bank he, with he, us? He seems, like a, he seems like a loyal coin coin yeah, customer. right. They probably checked your background like, hmm. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. BOA? Okay. BOA. Yep, never mind. B- <laughs> that's BOA, like, That's nah. like my cousin. Yeah. I can't give my, you know, uh, nah, they, they, That's family. That's yeah, family. That's family. But you know what the fuck, <laughs> think about that, and then the banks, that, look how fucked up they are, right? Not that you didn't fucking use the shit, but yo, they take your money. Mm-hmm. When you put your yeah. money in the bank, they take your money, they go invest it, mm-hmm. right? So they're making money out of us, putting mm-hmm. money. That's the thing with banks. Banks mm-hmm. make money off of us. They take our money, they go invest it, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And then when Sorry. you want to go take your money out, they ain't got it. Mm-hmm. I've seen people, they got thou- tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, of y'all want to take my money out. Oh, I ain't got it. It's going to take, take three weeks. Why? I literally I put money in here. Why is it taking a month to get my money back? Oh, because um, the the, uh, the yeah, the stock market's not doing too fucking well right now. That, the trust only, funds they 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 investing in. Not only that, the drug dealers came through, swooped up everything and shit like that. They gonna move everything down to the overseas. You know, you know, shit, you know, you know. You know. <laughs> so so and with the banks with that right. So now we say Bank Bank America. Mm-hmm. Listen, look this up because this is where I'm going to. I promise you. Read this to you. Apple's new savings account, right, mm-hmm. is paying four point one five percent annual percentage yield, ten times the national average, with no fees or minimum. Apple says the bank account it means to help users lead healthier financial lives by allowing customers to save more and earn more interest. Regular banks right now are paying zero zero point zero 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 one percent. That's also good too because um Apple's paying four point fifty four point fifty. That's also good because how how the with the whole inflation thing and how everything is looking, the the um the dollar is getting cheaper and cheaper by the day. So soon yeah, I figured. I, I, that's what yeah. I was telling him the other, a couple episodes again that that the, the the dollar and pound are actually mm-hmm. equivalent right now, and next thing you know, that's just gonna be gone. Mm-hmm. Cryptocurrency is okay. Yeah. Cryptocurrency is gonna is okay, and they are really gonna go with all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But the physical dollar is literally yeah, it's the disintegrate. Yeah, yeah, it's in the disintegrate. They're gonna use that like wood for fucking fire. Yeah. So unless you got your fucking finances right and all that shit, you don't get lost out here because it's a wicked world. Mm -hmm. It's a wicked world. Yeah, because remember, finances are all about your retirement. That's that's another thing too. Yeah, your retirement. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be Uh, gone. uh, Your budget. 
Yeah, that comes. You gotta track your let, personal funding. Let, 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 let me let me stop you there real quick because before you continue with the whole list, even with the with the with the retirement, mm -hmm. that is scary too. Mm -hmm. Because retirement, pensions, and all that are gonna be gone. You gotta understand that thirty three percent of the of the the the, the, the country's mm -hmm. debt is social security. And pensions. Mm -hmm. Or they want to take that away. The social, and they want to take it away. Security. So you're telling me one third of the debt mm -hmm. is if mm -hmm. is this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Start <laughs> start start preparing yourselves now because it's gonna be scary later on. It is. It is gonna it's be gonna, scary. It's scary now. It's gonna be more scarier if you're not prepared. That's that and that's a fact. Y'all yeah. wanna do your research, look it up, do your homework, and but that's a fact. It's true. You know what I'm saying? So, and listen, we all in the same boat. Don't get it twisted. We all in the same boat. We all work. We all have a retirement plan. If you do in your job, a lot of us don't. A lot of, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us don't have no pension. A lot of us don't have no, no social security, no, no, no nothing, right? And that's even worse. But even with us that we do is still not a guaranteed yeah. um, uh, 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 safety net. Mm -hmm. It's not. Mm -hmm. that's, why, that's why I always I always have that saying, work, work smart, not hard. Mm-hmm. I always yeah, have that implemented right. in my forefront. Well, my but, but where does that come from? Education. Exactly. But not only that, it, it's, it, it also comes from uh, 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 what is the show based on, off experiences. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you, you might not have that high level education, but you might have the crazy experiences of what you know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And make so much money, more money than a regular person will. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say work, work smart, not hard, because... You can have a regular nine to five job, right? And it's not making your men's meet, right? But you still have that little off the books job on the side yeah. that you're getting straight cash for. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Now you're building your old shit up little by little and boom, you get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what shocks me a lot about that too are, 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 are Im immigrants. Yeah. Like, they hustle. They, they hustle. hustle. Then, then, they, they, then they use the, un I mean, the, the, uh, what is that called? Oh my gosh! I have it right here on the tip of my tongue. It's something for immigrants when they come here, they get like a uh, like a passport card or something like a debit card, and they flip money off of it or something like that. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I completely forgot what the word is. I'm sorry, but maybe next episode I'll come yeah, over. Yeah, I want to know about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Most most people most most immigrants come from countries like Mexicans and mm -hmm. and, and North, North, uh, South American people, and they build these construction companies, right? But they get mm. this 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 visa that. It's like a business visa. I thought you were talking about the green card at first. No, 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 no. Like, no. It's nah, some, some similar though, to yeah, that. Yeah. It's some similar to that. That you're gonna you're gonna create a, a business, but mm -hmm. they'll oh. give you this. Why you think you see most of these uh, immigrants with like big trucks? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Durangos, Denali's, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And you yeah. wonder to yourself, damn, I've been here in the United States for a long time. Yeah. How they got <laughs> here two years ago and they hustled hard, yeah. you know? But yeah, they hustled. They they, like, they 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 had the means to search for that information. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like you said too, as far as education. Financial literacy should be taught in schools too. Yeah. That's another thing that Boom. they don't that they don't really teach us in school. Well, why do you think that? Literacy. Why do you think I, that? I think there should be a bomb dropped on that one because that's that's facts. Why 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 do you think why do you think that? Because they don't want us to know, really like really know about it, really learn, and they want us to be in depth. Off of I don't understand. We 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 are in the because there is no more middle class. Mm -hmm. There's no more middle class. There's lower class and there's upper class, right? That's it. There's no middle class, bro, right? So that separates, that separates two things, two 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 type of people. Mm -hmm. So now let's keep let's keep these people here. Let's give them this much. It's like it's like let me give you crumbs, just enough that you won't leave me, right? But you still be like you like. You, you you can't you won't go nowhere right pretty much yeah. but you still be here you still need from me yeah yeah I like that right yeah. yeah so here you go boom so now now you just like alright cool I got this yeah they, they give it to me this, that, that, that. but then you're not doing nothing for yourself because you're so comfortable with taking handouts on what they uh, on giving you yeah. right and you staying comfortable say fuck it you know what I don't have to do that if the government's gonna give me a, a monthly check I gotta go to welfare. And, and, and they're gonna give me this, give me that. And listen, let me tell you right now, we grew up on welfare, bro. Like mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying to sitting here like, uh, like I've never been to shit. No, I, we we grew up on that shit. 
You understand? I still wish I had food stamps. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, yeah, the way should take to. advantage of people. The yeah. way people be taking advantage of that shit, bro. Fuck. I wish every time I go to the supermarket, bro, people ask me because you know I spend at least three hundred dollars in food, tops, maybe three fifty. <clears throat> right. I go pay for it. I got my wallet. Struggle through my shit. First thing they go to EBT. EBT. <laughs> I look at her, I'll be like, damn, I wish, baby girl, this is straight blue yeah, card, yeah, girl. Is. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, EBT Chase is paying for this but shit. See, but 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 that's how that's how the government got control of you. Yeah. yeah. See, we not we we don't understand we don't put that into play. That that's cool. I think everybody wants free they money. You, yeah, they make you feel comfortable. It's the whole comfortability. Part. Of course. I got people yeah. right now who don't know how it's actually going through with the with the union and funding, the managed debt, track personal funding and all that shit. That's all part of the financial literacy part. You know, that all yeah. fits in the same folder is basically what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. It yeah. does. And um, also with budgeting, um, like I had a rule. It was called a 50%, 30%, and 20 rule. Mm. And that kind of like helped me with my, with my my money management. So basically... What is it? What is it 50%, it's, it's 30%? 50%, 30%, and 20%. Okay. So basically what it is, is 50% is... That goes, like, say you get, like, a check, you get paid. So 50% of that, that goes to the things that you need. Mm, okay. The 30 goes to the things that Wait, you want, 30%. Break down the things that you need. All right, so say... Because everybody like, has difference between needs I mean, and wants. Yeah. That is true. So, so what is it? The, 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 a need is probably, like, you know, like, your bills. Okay. All right. Need, cool, cool, you like, cool, stuff cool. that you need, like, food. Okay. Probably, the amenities know. and shit. Yeah. Okay. So 50% goes to the things that you need. The 30% goes to the things that you want. Like it's like, you okay. know, clothes, you okay. know, you want to look okay. nice, I like, I like that. clothes, I like that. you know, okay. you want to go out to eat. So 30% goes out. That's, that's, that's the wants. And the 20% is what you save. There okay. you go. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I, I use that and that really helped me like as I was getting, you know, I like that, that. helped me. See? Good, yeah. And that kind of made me more better with like my money management. And then after that to like, to the point where I just put away 50% to save and 50 to like. You, you got better and better and better. Yeah, man. I just got better, yeah, so. I like that. Yeah, because how, how, how many things are you going to, like, want? You, know, like, you yeah, might as well yeah. put that away. I'm going <laughs> to call, like, uh, call that Isaiah's code. Isaiah's <laughs> code. <laughs> <laughs> that shit yeah. sounds fire, because I would, like, I would drop, like to try it. Drop a ball for that. And I would like to try it, because somebody did put me on to, to something like that, and it sounds pretty cool. I like that a lot. No, that's dope. That's mm-hmm. dope. Yeah, See, things like that, the, and mind you, he's young. That's why I said we might he's learn something from yeah. you. You see, <laughs> he, I said that in the beginning. He's young, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, young yeah. adults and I start learning from that. It's, yeah. it's, you, I started late. My my experience when I was young, when I said what I said earlier, was mm-hmm. fucked up. It was totally different from his. Yeah, but you know what really, I'm saying? Yeah, but what really got me into like financial literacy and really knowing how to um money manage was um the book. It was called on um, Rich Dad Poor Dad. So rich dad, I, I, I poor fuck dad. with rich dad, poor dad. Yeah, that was like really the book that I think it gets everybody into financial yeah. literacy. You know, really understanding. People think that book is like a cliche mm-hmm. or one of, of, the, of the title. Just the title. Yeah, everybody really probably talks it. about yeah. like oh, mm-hmm. rich dad, poor dad. No, the, the 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 book is fucking awesome. Yeah, and people was always telling me to read it. So I was like, you know, one day I just took it and I started reading it, and it's crazy how it just opened really opened up my mind with the whole financial things. I never read it, but I'll try to read it. Huh? As far as like taxes, tools, There's, you know. It, it, it teaches you what's an asset a, and a liability. Lot of things, right? Nice. That's told me things like that. that. That's another thing, too. You got to learn what's, what's an asset, what's a liability, right? Because once you start learning that, that goes back to what he's saying with the needs and wants. The needs are your, what you need, but mm-hmm. what you want May not want, may not be a, a, a asset. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know not what I'm only, saying? Like not only that, that's the reason why we tell people, like you know, uh, like show your kids these things. You know what I'm saying? Let them learn. Let le, let them learn what. Now I wish I would have brought my my, my book, my deck of cards. Oh, uh, but that's funny because I'm actually looking for the picture that you put in the chat, so I yeah. can tell you. And I found it. Look at Got that. Got it, So now, like in this so, cards, so you, right? He has he has a game for kids, right? It's called uh, financial literacy flashcards for beginners. It's a financial jumpstart academy thing, <laughs> right? Um, it breaks down things like taxes, what an employee is, what are finances, credit score, a profit, et cetera, et cetera. You know, things like this is And that's what, for my kids. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Things like this is great for kids, but not only for kids, though, but you as an adult. If you don't know how to micromanage yourself, mm-hmm. boom, 
There you go. And it explains in the most simplest way. In the way. simplest way. Simplest, simplest way. way. We'll try to comment this the, these playing cards on, on the comments yeah. on, the, on the episode. We so still get anything new. I'm going to see if I insert it somewhere. Maybe yeah. if it don't, then just look in the comment <laughs> in the description <laughs> but, somewhere. But, but we got y'all. We, we got definitely you. will put the information for that there because yeah. it's it's a good tool to have, you know, and it, it's like flashcards. Yeah. It's like flashcards. Yes. It gives you the answer. It gives you the, the question to answer what it is, right? So you know, I do that with my kids. I do that on like um, lessons. Okay, take like five to ten cards. Mm -hmm. I give it to my daughter and go, okay, go study these. Mm -hmm. Come back. Um, we go through it and I'll explain to you what it means. Mm -hmm. But when you give me the answer because I see that you when you study it, then after that I'll explain to them what That's these good. things are, right? So they can have an understanding because a lot of people don't even know how to handle a fucking bank card. No. Mm -hmm. You yeah. understand? That was me. Go ahead. <laughs> you understand? People don't understand yeah. how to, uh, how to mm -hmm. fuck with a bank card and that's the simplest thing. Yeah. And too many people is too concerned about getting rich. But at yeah. the same time, your, your health is also important too. Your yeah. health. You're right. You're absolutely right. Because health is rich. Yeah. Help, health is rich. That is, that is like the number one. That should be number one on the financial literacy. Yeah. Since we're going on to the healthy side on the next topic. Yeah. Health is rich, man. Because without health, man, how can you work to get this finance that you... Yeah, exactly. Talk about it. <laughs> How long do you really want to live to keep living your life mm -hmm. while getting finances? Mm -hmm. And they like, like, like you said, like health is wealth. How do yeah. you be saying? Because mm -hmm. yeah. a lot of people they take advantage of it. They like, like shout out to Styles P, man. You know mm -hmm. that that whole uh, oh, yeah. the juice for life, juices man. For life. I love juices for life. Yeah, I fuck, too. This, yeah, I fuck with it too. Don't fuck with juices uh, for life. Uh, yeah, Castle Hill and uh, Yonkers. East Tremont got a East, location you know what too. Saying? You know like, what I'm saying? It's good, man. Because the way I, the reason why I say that is because he 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 focused more on the health side of things, yeah, and then flipped yeah. it into a business side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. now he yeah. wants the world to know, let's drink health. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, let's worry yeah. about our health and, and make sure that we good on. You know, he's a vegan. Like we don't have to be vegans. Just be healthy. Like balance out. Know your balance. Yeah, you know, he's actually the reason. Have a conscience. You know, he's actually the reason why I started going to the gym. Yeah. Hey, look at his age, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he pushed. Out. He's one of the people. Reasons it's never why. too late. Like it's never. You know, people shouldn't feel like because you're older, you shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, working out, feeling good. And I got a sixty year old yeah. people fucking mm -hmm. looking good money. Got, you know that. I got like, a story about that too. Because what really made me like focus on health was it was this one day and I'm working, and um, so right they sent me to go work with somebody right one of my partners so i'm on the phone with him and he's speaking like patois like it sounds like he's like he, <laughs> he's jamaican like he yeah. has a jamaican accent so i'm speaking to him Wong, Wong. Then, yeah I, I like to the point where i couldn't really understand him so <laughs> <laughs> so i finally meet up with him i meet up with him he was like yo what's up like you couldn't understand me on the phone i was like nah he was like do i gotta say in spanish to you yeah <laughs> so, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> so so he started speaking to me in spanish stop so I found oh, what out was it? He was he's Jamaican? Panamanian. Oh, he's pa yeah. That's shout out to my Panamanians. Like me and him yeah. had like a little own connection, and you know how Panama. Like, you know how like we um say like qué pasó? Yeah. Like and they like saying is um pasó qué? Nah, nah, it's um <laughs> nah, nah, it's queso pa. Queso pa. It's queso pa. So that was like me and his thing. Like whenever I was seeing, I'll be like, yo, what's up? like queso pa. So that kind of means like what's up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But to us, it's like what happened? Like yeah. you know, like qué pasó? Yeah, so that was like our thing. Like oh, qué pasó? Qué pasó pa? But to get to the point was he was a 60, he was like in the 60s and he was a sensei. Like he did oh, martial shit. arts. He did martial arts. So, oh, wow. Yeah. So he was really big on like health and everything. Like he had a, he was shredded, had a six yeah. pack. You know, he was a sensei. He would teach me like, yo, like your core is probably like your most important most thing. Most important thing. Yeah. Like without core, like you don't got no power to anything That's else. Right. And I agree. But he really made me, he really made me like open my eyes with like health because it was just like seeing him at the age where he's at. And, like, he just looked good. And I really asked him one time, I was like, yo, like, how old do you really feel? Mm. And he gave me, like, the most Sincere. greatest answer. Yeah, he was like, yo, to be honest, I don't really feel old. Like, That's I, good, I just, man. You know, Your body's still live, mobile. Yeah, I just live life. And he got he has asthma, too. So that oh, kind of gave me more motivation. Cause wow. He'll be training with me, you know, we'll be, like, we'll be working out together. And he'll have asthma and still. He just See, still but pushing that, through it. That's for some, and that's somebody that is strong-minded, that chooses health. Before anything else, because having asthma, people will give up. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, some people will. People give up. will give up. Yeah, yeah. they want to. They'll just give up. Like, I can't. Nah, push through mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yep. and 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 even just being that older, you know, like having good health and being that that uh, that age, it, it gives them a 
different self confidence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it gives us confidence too because you, when you start seeing shit like that, you know, you have to see things like that to say, "Damn, that's fucking, that's awesome, that's great." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's beautiful. If you can do it, I can yeah, do it. Yeah, because I really see the difference between, like, 60-year-olds. Like, you got 60-year-olds that's really healthy mm-hmm. and 60-year-olds, you know, that got to, like, work oh, with a cane up. or walker. And it's just, you really got to pay attention and be on top of your health while, yeah. as you're growing up, as you're getting older. No, that's yeah. facts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's facts. No, no, I agree. I, I agree. See, and I see you take some some pills right Yeah, there, I do pills, actually take, I actually take vitamins. vitamin, p- vitamin <laughs> pills uh, from uh, care of. It's a website that so cute. Got his name on it and everything yeah. on the pack. Yeah, it does. It actually has today's facts too. Today it says, "Did you know the main character?" knowledge. It says, "Did you know that the main character of Blue's Clues, Blue, is a girl puppy? Her friends Green and Magenta are two. I knew she was a girl. The best girl puppy gang. <laughs> the best girl. Yeah. Puppy. No, I, I, Blue's Clues was a girl. Yeah, he is. She, oh, she, is. Is. she is. She is. She is. And uh, yeah, I take these. These are pretty good. I take six pills. Uh, I think I, I don't really know them from the back of top of my head, but. Vitamin D, vitamin C. I take a blood a blood flow pill to make you know everything go well. Um, two and three other pills. I, f- I don't really know the top of my head, but I, they they actually work because uh, multivitamin type. Uh, uh, I take these pills. I've been taking them for like about two 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 three months already. Nah, do, that's good. They, that's they do good. me good. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. You got you got to get your multivitamin zone. You know People. what I'm saying? Multivitamins, yeah. baby. Ah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get that strongness. You know what I mean? Get that strongness. <laughs> But before we go on, unfortunately, there are other things in the world that actually distracts us from actually living a healthy life. Yeah, what's that? Like social media. And fast food restaurants. Yes. Fast they build more fa- they've built more fast food restaurants nowadays than actually trying to build uh, uh, a nice, good smoothie spot. You, you, you know what's crazy, right? Um, like the fast foods is... is you, you, where do you see most fast foods at? In uh, lower in a, income. In the cities and all that? Mm-hmm. It's true. Y'all got to think about that, these things. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's a lot of there's a lot of odds that's stacked against us. Also, the smoke shops, too. Right? You think mm-hmm. they keep putting there's a lot of smoke all these shop, new bro. smoke shops around it in each and every corner? Because they know that's everybody it. in these communities smoke yeah. something. I mean, listen, we smoke. You know what I'm saying? It's not, but it they 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 have an agenda. Yes, right. But we're not. Let's not get off topic. You know, health is wealth. Yeah, all day. Health is rich. You know what I'm saying? Keep your, you know, do your own due diligence. You know, and get some health tips. Mm. You know, <laughs> we just give you, you know, our little health tips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But so listen, right? Moving forward, we got this. Uh, Q and A. I don't think oh, we did yeah. it the last time, right? No, we didn't. Nah, we didn't do it the nah, last time, right? We missed the last. We, we missed the last time. That shit went. Real. You know what I mean? <laughs> maybe y'all enjoy it. Maybe y'all don't. But we like it. You know what I mean? It gives us again a little insights on how we think about things, how we look at things, right? You know, just funny little question, you know, questions and answers, right? So, who is gonna be the chosen one, the first one today? Let's yeah, go. I did. I went first last time. So you went first the first time. Did I? Did you go first the first time? When we first started, I don't remember. I think I. Right, but go I got first. a few though, so it's all right. <laughs> I, I'll go first. I got all like right. I got like about seven. Oh, all right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Why do you think being healthy is key? Since we got off that topic, why do you think what? Being healthy is key. Being healthy is key. Mm-hmm. Live longer. Mm. Mm-hmm. Live longer. You know. Yeah, live longer. It saves you from a lot of sickness Ooh, that's out there. That's the that's the same one. This thing. Oh. Brought this thing on. He's like, a, he's like another <laughs> me, son. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know, thing, I know, I know. You right, you right, you right. <laughs> All right, next one is um, what's one thing people are generally surprised to find out about you? What are people generally surprised that they found out about you? I'm a good, I'm a good guy. Yeah, not an asshole. Not an asshole. Just because you know I speak my mind and uh, uh-huh. and you know. Maybe it's uh, strong, opinionated, okay. but I'm a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think my age. Yeah? Yeah, you're right. Son. That too. <laughs> that is true, son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to give you that yeah. one. He was yeah. always surprised when I tell him. Like, he was like, what? Yeah. Or like my, my, like, um, my nationality. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Sometimes people be thinking I'm Dominican. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't lie. People think I'm Arab. Me too. Yeah. People think I'm Dominican, so yeah. Or Jewish. Or Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can see that one. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, I can think see it's the that nose. One. I can uh, see that one. But I ain't, I'm straight Puerto Rican. Too. Oh, my um, God. Let me see. Uh, what does your parents describe you? What does what does your parents describe what you do to their friends? I'm a podcaster. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> you know we always have we always have parents right. There's parents out there that go into these Definitely, yeah. scenarios with their friends, and they be like, "Yo, my son is a doctor, but this nigga just works in a hospital as a housekeeper." You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> That's funny. Shit That's like funny. That. That's oh, funny. Oh, 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 you know. It's, you know, little shit yeah, like yeah. oh, he grew nah, up. In- yeah, now nah, I'll be honest. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what my mom says yeah, about me. Know. Mom, what do you say about me? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Too. Good question. If you're watching this episode, that's a good one. Right? I want to know. Yeah, I'm curious too. Yeah, <laughs> fact, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's a know. good one. Like, yeah. hey, I would like to know. You know, my mom tells people I'm a doctor because <laughs> you work at hospital. Because I work at the hospital. <laughs> I ain't no way it is. Shout out, mom. Shout out, mom. I ain't no way certified. Don't call me. Don't comment. (laughs) (laughs) All right, next question. Um, Is cereal a type of soup? What? If is, get, yeah, is yeah. cereal a type oh, of soup? She's like, Siri, yeah. Siri, try to answer. Siri, <laughs> Siri, try to answer for me. Y'all get it here live. That's crazy. What does Siri say? Matter of fact, what does Siri say? She, I, I ignored her. I ignored her. Oh. So wait, so is cereal a top a type, type of soup? Shit. I mean, if if I say no, but I've never I've never even came along that question like that. But if you saying it like that. Uh. I mean, it kind of I mean, is, though. I don't though. think it is. No, no like, I, I don't say it is, but just the concept yeah. of what the cereal in a bowl like, is. Like like, yeah. like like SpaghettiOs, right? Yeah. It's just tomato sauce with noodles in it. Mm-hmm. So it's tomato soup? But is it... Is it no, it's like, not. Is it, is it pasta? Is it... I don't know. That it's is so, pasta. So it's, it's pasta. So it's cereal soup? Nah. That's is a good it question. Because cause what soup have you seen that has milk in it? Don't matter. It's still a liquid form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people, it's cereal. But like, people, soup. but like when people say soup, though, it's like noodles. Yo, yeah, you know, your little liquid in it. Yeah, is 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 milk liquid? It is, but what you put in it is not like a noodle kind of. It doesn't. <laughs> I mean, no, but you don't really. Have, you can get soup with no noodles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like um, vegetable soup. Yeah, like vegetable soup. Do you get soup with Lucky Charms? That's what I'm saying. That's like water. We just fucked his head up. He just fucked his head up, bro. You can get soup with Lucky Charms. He just fucked his head up, bro. You can get soup with tricks in it. People put water. That's people nice. put people put water in, in cereal. I tried. I did it before. I tried it. But I tried that before. What? When what? there was no milk in the what house, you put? and I just you put, put water. Well, that's what I'm saying. Water in cereal. That's what I'm saying. People, yo, listen. That's it's not hard. a good thing, though. It's not a good thing. I wouldn't. I wouldn't prefer it to anybody. Like it was just one of those times where you just. Man, man, like you just lazy. That was a hard time. Yeah, it was no, it, oh, it wasn't hard time. It was hard times for laziness. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> the, the store was probably was right around the corner or some shit. Nigga. He he suffered the water instead of walking. Yeah. All right, I got another one. Um, what kind of animal is the biggest party animal? Now you talk about like real animals, like in yeah. the jungle. Yeah, it's a party animal. Yeah. Mm. Shit. Um, Which is the ones that live at the party? Cause niggas always say, yo, you the the party, yo, this oh, the which, party animal. Oh, which which one would you say, or is it a fact that no? Which one would you say? Well, would I say a party animal? Because remember, everybody says, yo, that this nigga was a party animal. So what is your what is your significance of an animal that's a party animal? Niggas is in the jungle with Tarzan and just turning shit up. <laughs> which one is it gonna be that one? That's funny. I'm definitely fucking with the monkeys, though. Like, okay. Yeah, right. I was thinking about that, definitely too. But then them. in my head, I'm thinking about Madagascar and how yeah. old I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Animals just part That is true. That about. is if, true. If, if I had to choose, a, like, one animal, hmm. that's a tough one. Mm-hmm. That really is. I just said one because it's like they, they relate more to it. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they might be other interesting <laughs> fucking yeah, animals like, out there. But for now, I'll go with monkeys, though. Go, yeah, I agree. Monkeys. I agree. Because I really don't know any other animals like that. Either. Yeah. They, they will really have fun out there. Like, mm-hmm. ah, shit. I got to educate myself more with animals, man. I'm yeah. sticking to the animals. This is my last question. Yeah. All right. All right. What number of chickens will it take down? How, what, how, what number of chickens will it take to take down an elephant? What amount of chickens? 
What it take? Nah, I don't All think. Right. I, don't, I don't think it takes no All amount. Right. So an elephant got four legs, right? <laughs> four legs. Now a chick. If we talking about a chicken, I know y'all seen the like the chicken fights before. Yeah. I see chicken fights. And fight. they beaks is so sharp. Like mm. they be sharpening like they beaks and everything. Yeah, they they, so, they ain't breaking through that flesh, bro. Are you sure? Yeah, they. Ain't I think if you got like a good. Ten of them on each leg. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> and they just all. They just all just. Nah. And they all just. They, just, they, they break them down. Just yeah, go in there. Down, oh, 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 oh. Nah, maybe that, twenty. Maybe twenty on that, each leg. I that that flesh is tough though. That's like tough. I, would, I, I, would, I would say maybe like at least a thousand or some shit. In each leg. Yeah. I don't know how much it'll take. I don't know what the fuck these niggas talking about. Like, nah, I, seen, I don't know what. I seen. I seen a video recently. What is a good question? It was. It was, <laughs> it was like a um. They had. A chicken fight, and one of the guys had like put him down, and they was like, "Yeah, they they rang the bell, and the chicken ran straight to the owner and just pecked at his leg. Nah. And he started leaking from his leg. Like, I mean, but that's like different. Blood we, gushing I, out. I, I, our flesh, bro. Like, I mean, yeah, that mm, is that true. Is Elephant good. do got thick skin. They so got that. This shit is like shit. that fucking. Niggas, niggas fight each other for that skin. So I remember that when they hunt down the elephants. Oh yeah, you stay there. You go true. see. It? I yeah. thought y'all one, one. I thought one of y'all was gonna say, "Yeah, my couch is made out of elephant." <laughs> nah, no, <laughs> definitely not mine. <laughs> All right, who got the next question? Right, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm him. Mm. I'm him. Timothy. <laughs> Timothy. I'm Timothy. Him Junior. I'm him Junior. Him Duncan. Him Duncan. Him Jones. Him Hardaway. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. <laughs> we going somewhere? Him Let me Curry. Get, him Curry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got the perfect question for that. Can I say Himalayan one? <coughs> oh, that is you, that is you. I was gonna hit it with the him still up, so, so Stallone, but no, nah, nah. him Stallone. Yeah, nah. uh, <laughs> Stallone's everywhere. But whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what you gonna say? No, I got, no, a, got question. a question. Yeah, yeah, I got a question just what? like that though. Oh yeah, yeah, question. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, it's for the Q and A. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Okay, what do you miss most about being a child teenager? Mm. Not having responsibilities. Word. That's what you miss, not having responsibilities? <laughs> not having to pay bills. <laughs> and you know what I miss the most? My mom yelling out the window, Josh! <laughs> How she did it? How she did Dang! it? Dang! <laughs> I come in, cabrón! Like I used to be like, damn, huh? And, and your mom is definitely that ruthless, bro. <laughs> Ma, please. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? I'm going to tell you right now the crazy thing about that. Oh, my God. I remember real quick before you continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to drag myself. <sighs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? Jackson does that. Yo, you that's, see every, that? that's every kid, though. Uh, the demeanor. We're like, oh, you see that right. in your kids. Yo, I see, kids. Him in, I see it in here. I'm like, all right, go ahead. Five more minutes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we, 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 we ain't getting no five minutes. Entrate para adentro. Ahora, mio, te mete una guy. All right, ma, you got it. <laughs> you got it, ma. So miss it. I'm with you on the bills. Yeah. And that having fun. I definitely agree with you. I can't even say nothing. I was dope time. Just having like a lot of friends too. Well, well I'll tell you right now. Yeah, that. Like your circle is way bigger than what it is mm-hmm. now as you get older. Well, you know what? I think you start learning yeah, why, well, that's, that, yeah, that, yeah, why yeah. that's it. And the true you meaning know. of friends. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. But just the innocent fun of it. Hell yeah, yeah bro. Like when happened. we used to play those games and all that, man. All that. Yeah. Man, we was. Yeah. I, I, loved, I loved those times, man. Mm-hmm. Like. So. I like that one. All right. <sighs> okay. What about the current world would be most surprising to your younger self? The AIs. <laughs> but younger self, like what age? Younger self. Just, all right. Let's all say, right. all right. Let, I'll give you. I'll, let's say uh, maybe your teenagers, 20s. That weed is getting legalized. Yeah, because I'm Drop a bomb for that. That is true. Drop a bomb for that. Because there be times where I'm actually outside by my car, smoking, minding my own business. Now, now, now. Now. And the cops buys by or something. And (laughs) I'm just still smoking a blunt by my car, minding my own business. Back in the day, bro, in my teens, I couldn't be sitting by my car, smoking (laughs) a blunt. The cops ride by, I'll be like, (laughs) you swallow, you better swallow that shit. You better fucking swallow yeah, that nigga, shit. You used to wow, nigga. Yeah, you I'm can't even you. tell them it's a cigarette because they already know. Nah, they did. Sigga weed, nigga. Sigga weed. <laughs> Word, so, so. what you say? Um, well, you, you think, but you you, you young yeah. yourself, so. But let's just say maybe like 
10 years ago. Let me give you 10. Yeah, just, man, that's crazy. I'm fascinated by shit like every every year. Like every mm. it's like something new just comes out every year. So it's like damn. Yeah, that's true. But um probably like virtual gaming. Oh you know how we grew up like gaming and everything? We never knew it would get to that point where it was like literally virtual and you yeah. could like be in the game and, and put a headset on. Like yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's really crazy. It's like a different feeling. Yeah, that, yeah, was like, yeah, that v- VR is fucking crazy. Yeah, it's a different true. feeling that I ain't gave you before. <laughs> even, the, even the graphics now. <laughs> yeah, the games. graphics is ridiculous too. Yeah, the graphics are crazy. You know? C- coming from where we come from, think, even, even y'all still had things, but even the, di- like the, the little centipede, remember centipede? Oh, shit. <laughs> like some snake. shit like that, the snake, snake, sh- games. snake, snake games. Shit like that from to now. Uh-huh. But, you got your Pac Man, your Tech Trip. But Pac Man yeah, now is not even on some shit where it's a puzzle. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Now he's actually first point of view and you're running on the. Shit like that. That shit is crazy. But you know what? Let me tell you something, too. Like, um, now the VRs and all that shit. That's the good thing about technology. I know we had, check out episode um nine for for our technology thing. Um, you could go visit mammoths and all that shit now. Yeah, through the, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that's, that, that's fire in the schools. Now they're teaching you yeah. to to do all you know to go. To, that's fire, <laughs> yeah, right? That's so true. you know that that that's actually good with technology for sure. Yeah, that's okay, true, that's true. So next one, um, what does alone time look like to you? Alone time. Alone time. Yeah. Alone all right. Time. All right. I thought I thought I was gonna have a long a long time previously because I actually took a day off from work because it was my birthday and I was a little vacation, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It happened. So I had to do other things. But my so alone what's time, your, yeah, what's your idea my idea of a long time would be just to ch- chill, relax, mm-hmm. a little R and R relaxation. R and R relaxation. R and R is recoup and relax. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go, see? That's what R and R means. Recoup <laughs> Recoup and relax. Recoup and relax. I like that. I like that. Basically, then you just stick into your own mind state. Yeah, like that, that. That's the best time to find yourself. You know? See? It is. Meditate. That's why I say vacation time. Because vacation time, you you just in your own little vacation. You mm-hmm. far away from everybody that you know. And it's just like, you just... It's like a restart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You're away from everything, everything that's going on. And it's an even better, too, when you go on vacation to, like, another country. Yeah. And you see the yeah. way people are living. You love it. You got to love that, yeah. though. Yeah. Then you start feeling how, and then you start uh, uh, accepting <laughs> what you have. You're like, damn, yeah. you know what? It's not, 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 not that bad. Yeah, it gives you more, like, an open mind. Mm-hmm. No, no, Or maybe, maybe I want to move here. Because <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie, bro. When I, when I went to Ruben, it's like. Oh, yeah. It was just different, bro. Like oh, I felt like I was able to open up a hub and just fucking live off of that shit, dude. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> talking to flamingos and everything. Talking to flamingos. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm telling you, like, that shit was, it was different. Yeah. It was different. I have a friend named Ralph, named pink, f- a pink flamingo named Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> He's going to have a pink flamingo named Ralph. That's, yeah. like my, that's my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a long time for me. Do I even answer these questions? That's up to you. Right? You could if you want to. Right? You don't have to if you want to. All right. I, I, we said these things. We said the rules as we go. Like, I don't even. Oh, all right. I'm not. Well, yeah, that, I'm the one asking questions. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you have a morning routine? And what does it look wow, like? Wow. I actually was going to ask that question. Let's Dang. go, baby. You see? You mm-hmm. see? A morning routine? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can go. Anyone can go. Yeah. Um, yeah. What I do in the morning. So the first thing I'll do, I'll wake up and look at the time. That's like the first thing I'll do when I wake up. I look at the time. Then I'll go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, you know, face wash. Then after that, I make like myself a shake with like <laughs> fruits, a lot of fruits, you know, oatmeal. And that's how I get my morning. That's my routine every morning. Oh, my cool. protein shaking, you know. Noise. Health day. is wealth. You see that? It goes back to health <laughs> is wealth. Uh, my, 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 I have two morning routines, actually. Yeah? Yeah, because I go to the gym in the morning. So in the morning when I wake up, I I I look at the time, like like he does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody, I think everybody looks at the time. Yeah, turn off the alarm. Yeah, yeah, turn off your alarm. Like, like, four twenty five yeah. in the fucking morning. You're like, what the fuck is going Word. on? Then then you start to uh, then I start to brush my teeth, wash my face. Um, I stretch. Mm. Okay. 
Uh, good stretching is good. I've been wanting to do that too. Yeah, stretch. Stretching I always good. stretch because I, I I work, you know. Yeah, I, hands on. And shit I don't like really that. stretch too much. I just crack my something, <laughs> but yeah, that that's a good thing. No, to start. I, 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 I at least that morning routine to stretch. I, I stretch. I try to meditate. I try. Sometimes it gets a little sleepy. You know, I I I, I want to learn how to meditate. I want to. It's, it's hard. It's, yeah, it I, I want to do yoga. I want to do yoga. You I want to do, do like, yoga. Like, like heat yoga. I really want to do yoga. I want to try yeah. it. I want to. I want to experience it. Uh, but if 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 yo if I did do yoga, that would definitely be part of my morning morning routine. Do some Pilates. Yeah. Then I you know <laughs> then I go about my business, go to work and shit. Eat Noise. Noise. All right, cool. Last one, right? It's always good to have a good like a good morning routine. Yeah, yeah. That's how you start your day. Even if you need to have an affirmation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You oh, no. Listen, morning things, you definitely have to have affirmations, right? You got to have your affirmation. Mm -hmm. You got to have your um, your your um, your um self-development. Yes. Yep. Right? Um, And your prayer before you leave your house. Yep. Just talk to yourself in the mirror. Just tell yourself, you know, it's going to be a good day. Thank you. Now, um, I'm up. I'm alive. Think positive. Mm -hmm. Think positive. Everything positive. Yeah, because I just learned something. It's called like the 369 method. Okay. Right, it, where you um, you would have an affirmation, mm -hmm. and you stick to that. You write it three times in the morning, six times in the in the in the afternoon, nine times at night. Okay, for like right. at least thirty days. Yeah. There you go. And you keep doing that, then watch it manifest little by little. Yeah. And but remember, you got to write it three times in the morning, uh -huh. six times at afternoon, nine times at night. Yeah, you got really, that down. You got y'all got that. That's really putting energy out in the air. Yeah, you have and to. You just think that positivity. Yeah, you there, have man. to. You gotta understand. It takes work to to do positive things and and to get do those yeah. you know positive it, sure. insert positive in you. Yeah, because uh, okay, so real quick, um, Kevin Garnett came out with a new commercial recently, and uh, it's a fantasy. No, it, it's it's a football. It's a, one of those. Gambling apps that they be out there, Fanduel. Oh yeah, Fanduel. Fan yeah. And his homeboy was giving him a pound, and, and, and when he gave him a fist pound, Kevin Garnett grabbed it. And he, <laughs> he goes, "Yo, dude, I'm not sensing your vibe right now, man. You got to think positive." <laughs> he, goes, what you? he goes, "Yo, KG, what you talking about?" He goes, "I need that positive vibe out of you. you know why? Because of things like this." And he showed him how he was gonna win. Uh -huh. Oh, you uh, back like to thousand dollars yeah, in yeah, the yeah. beds, and he's like, "Man, I can't mess with you." And he walked away. I was like, you, see, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. keep those positive people no, around you, do, you, man. You, you gotta keep that zen in you, man. Yeah. Like, zen, 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 zen. zen, zen. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, cool. Oh so, now nah, he did. He does. He does nah. more new routine. Nah, I'm gonna say one more. I got one more. I got one more. All right, so you got your morning routine. Uh, my, all right. Oh, you want? I'm just saying. Oh, right, you know, I, I'll tell you, I'm a morning routine. No, I do the same thing. Wake up, turn my alarm off. Maybe snooze it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's like, nice. fuck, lie. fucking snooze it. Uh, maybe two or three times. Hey, the fuck, right? <laughs> then you know, I go, I go brush my teeth, mm -hmm. wash my face. Mm -hmm. I mean, or I, I should go take a shower in the mornings because I gotta wake up. Yeah, that's that's the first. I, I go straight to the showers, wake up, then I get my morning going. I mean, and I'll be honest, it kind of changes once in a while. Like, yeah, I either cool. do breakfast at home, get breakfast outside, whatever yeah. the shit is. But <laughs> just, just overall from all that, the most important thing, I'll be honest with you. Oh, and then the affirmations and, and all that. So my self development, my self development, I do it on, on my way to work while I'm driving. Okay. Listen to Audible, you know what I mean, shit like that. So that's I do it out of that. So yeah, it's part of my morning routine. But the most important thing is. Not jumping on your social media yeah. as soon as you fucking wake up. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you wake up, please, give this shit time, man. Like, <laughs> give this fast. shit time. Cause, yo, as soon as you... Oh, you there. Mm -hmm. Give facts. it time. Yeah. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? So, so, that, so that's my morning routine. So everything is, you know, you got to ha keep that going. You know, they say uh, 20, it takes 21 days, mm -hmm. right, to, become a, to have a habit mm -hmm. and 90 days for a routine. Mm. Right? Keep working on it every day. I like that. Same thing every day. You gotta be consistent. You gotta be consistent. That's it, right? So That's a good So one. yeah, yeah, that was my question. You know, drop the ball for me, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was a good one. Uh, you know what I mean? Go ahead. Alright. So one of my questions was like say if you get pulled over or anything, or like you just get in trouble, probably the cartel, or whatever. Say they take you in. <laughs> 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 Or okay. like, or just any like I'm, any I'm, scenario. I'm, I'm rolling with you. Let's any go. scenario, right? What is a fake name y'all would give them? <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> ah, shit. Um, Jose Calderon. Jose, Jose Calderon. <laughs> Carlos Peña. Carlos Peña. Either that. I don't know. I, I, that's a. <laughs> I don't know. I've been thinking about that. Yeah, I'm about to use a fake name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to skip states. I'm gonna yeah. change my name. Yo, call, okay, yeah. Okay. Well, that I, I, I would say. Uh, uh, Jose Calderon. Jose Calderon. Jose Calderon. Is that a basketball player though? Yeah. 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 Right? yeah. yeah. It is. Oh. It is. A basketball player. <laughs> I nah, didn't even know that. Nah, nah, you, you know what I'm telling you? I forgot about that. I'll be like, my name's Jeff. My name is Jeff. My name's Jeff. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Jim. My name's Jeff. My name is Jim. Oh, my God. Let's my go name with. will be Juan Carlos Fumenta. Mm. <laughs> Juan Carlos Fumenta. Yeah. Right, okay. so, all right. That's different. It's not right. important. So I'm like, papi, I don't know, papi. Uh, <laughs> my, name is, my name is Giancarlo. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Fomenta. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Fomenta. <laughs> you sound very important. <laughs> you, might, you might get taken, bro. Yeah. We might have to do a <laughs> little something extra to Yeah, you, you yeah. might get taken, bro. <laughs> I heard that last name before. So... <laughs> <laughs> Who's your uncle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine if really it backfires on you. That's like that. Yeah. That's why you got to use some fucking wild. You can't yeah. use something that sounds fancy, bro. Yeah. Or, or Alejandro, Alejandro Jarosowski. What the no, no, no. That sounds. <laughs> come on, bro. Like Are you Jewish? Jewish? Is <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like you got to you, you gotta say Alejandro Trepa. <laughs> some shit like that. Like, <laughs> like to fuck Trepa. <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Right, another question is um what was your favorite memory like what is your favorite memory growing up that you could always like think back of and just tell the story of, of your favorite memory my childhood going for to going to the bahamas for the first time mm. how you went to the bahamas like on a plane on a, on a, on a well we flew to we took a plane to florida mm -hmm. And then we took a cruise, a boat, a ship, whatever, from there to, yeah. to to Bahamas. So we did both. <laughs> Good experience. Five hour five hour boat ride, fucking mm, crazy. Damn. Yeah, from Florida to Bahamas, sure. five hour boat ride. It was, it was dope. That was the first time me doing any of that yeah. shit. Like, fire. Uh, I really don't. Mine, so I would say, the last time all five of my family members were together. Mm. That's, that's dope. I like that. Yeah. Like everyone was like together, together. Yeah. Yeah, since been like. I like that. Yeah, that's yeah. the last thing I, I would say. I miss. You know, pretty much. Yeah, there's a different feeling too when you when you see like just everybody yeah, like together. Yeah, it just shows like unity and love. Yeah, that's the and also tests yeah. waters too on how yeah. how you really are with people and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, it does. And that that's my shit right there. <laughs> no, that's a good one. Um, another one is your favorite sneaker. Hmm. I got. <coughs> Um, 11s. Okay. Pan leather. Space, Pan Space Jams. Space Jam 11s? That's it. That's my shit. <laughs> Space Jams 11s, bro. Like, mm. Did you ever ever have to do like anything crazy? Like, to get sneakers? No. Yeah. Oh, I... Not, I'm, well, whether really you want to consider it crazy, but I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, when they first... When the first one time... The first yeah. drops came out. Mm. Dude, I didn't have a car at that. I went... I was on public transportation... Going everywhere to mm. every <laughs> store, bro. I went to, I was, I was in Harlem. I was in one for fifth and Broadway. I was going to the city. I was trying to find them <laughs> everywhere because back then, I mean, I'm pretty sure they got not, but they had the early, you, you was early able to get release, them early, yeah. early. Mm. Certain stores had them early. I remember that. For regular price. Yeah. It's not like right now they jacked them shits up to fucking whatever the price because you want them early release. Nah, yeah. they were regular price. Yeah. Going everywhere, everywhere. They'll be sold out a lot of places. So I found, I went to at least, no lie, bro, like like eight stores. <laughs> just to find that one. Just to find that one sneaker. Good. And I found them, though. I came nice. home happy. Nice, nice. So if you want to call that crazy shit, fuck it. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll do that now, though. No. I know I won't do that now. <laughs> I know I won't do that I now. I don't have the time for that. I don't. Yeah. I really don't. I don't at all. If I, mean, I can't like get them online like or anything, I'm not wasting you my really time. You really got to have like a certain love for sneakers to do that. Facts. Facts. But yeah. yeah what would be your favorite sneaker, though, Josh? I have all. I like all of them, but I'm 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 mainly of a vintage type of guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything that looks old school. Like I got yeah. a pair of New Balances on now. I like the style because it looks old school. They very comfortable too. Yeah, New Balance yeah. cool. Very I, like, yeah, I really like them. I, um, they're different. Uh, it's my first pair of New Balances. 
but I I, I, I enjoy them. Um, yeah, anything that looks old school, like yeah. anything vintage. Like yeah. I had a pair of old school pant leather Grant Hill Felis. Hey, Grant Hill Felis. I don't have them no more. Back. I remember yeah, when they got yeah. too old and fucked up by using them for basketball and shit like that. Nah, yeah. You know what? Now you know what's one thing I remember about your sneakers too. It was the the um. The phone pods used to have like a yeah. lot of phone pods at the time. <laughs> yeah, remember I designed my pearls. Yeah, Always playing yeah, yeah, ball yeah. Though. Right. Like, I had the oh black and God. blue ones playing ball. In the yeah, how funny play? I can't play 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 ball with nah, phone pods. But you know what's how the you know what? Hell, but you know what was my thing? But you know what was my thing? I can't play sneak. I can't play ball and sneakers with fucking air bubbles in them. Oh no! Oh yeah. I mean, it hurts my shins. That's why I wore shin guards. That's why I wear shin cards when I'm playing yeah. ball. Because it hurt in my it hit my shin so much, bro, that like every time I'll play for a long time, I can feel the you pain. Feel it. Yeah. yeah, so I'm like shit. So <laughs> I was like, you know what I mean? Invest in these shin guards and it keeps yeah, them compressed. Yeah. You know what's the fucked up thing about fucking bubble sneakers, man? Like I like the, well, I used to like them but man, once some shit's pop, bro, it's over, oh, dude. Yeah, like, there's no yeah. fixing that. There's still fix <laughs> I, I heard you could send it back to the co- well before. Yeah, yeah. He was able to send yeah, it back. Can, and yeah, they, 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 they were sending it back um, fresh. I don't know about now, but before definitely did. I mean, there are other ways to find, you know, but that shit is tight. It's like you got a flat tire, yeah. bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I did yeah, always man. play ball in the phone pockets. I love them shits, man. I stopped wearing. I stopped wearing them because everybody and their mother wears them now. Yeah, I'm done with that. I actually got a fresh. Yeah. I actually got a brand new pair of stairs. I, have, yeah. I don't wear like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> White wishes, yeah. Nah, they kind of died down to me. Phone pockets. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that. You got any more? Oh, any more? No, I don't got any more questions. That's it? That was, yeah. Man, what the fuck, bro? Like, it made y'all think, though, right? It made y'all yeah. think. All right, nah, nah, it's all good. Then listen, <laughs> one, two, three, five. We don't, even put, we don't put numbers on how many questions we have. We have as many questions as we want. Whatever. Yes, sir. So I hope y'all like this segment. You know, yo, let us know. Like, comment down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Comment down below and shit. Let us know. Like, yo, do y'all like yeah. these segments, these topics? You know what I mean? Anything y'all even want to, y'all want to. Add. Co- add and conversate about and want to hear us talk about comment down below let us know like this is why we're here you know what i'm saying like mo- most likely we we went through it if not shares your experience we'll, we'll we'll you know you vicariously could share your experiences through us we'll live know? through you that's it uh-huh. you know exactly. what i'm saying so it's all about experiences so you did it i did it he did it he did it share it comment you know mm-hmm. what i mean and I, and again like share subscribe ooh, ooh. Exactly. all right don't forget about that yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> so um this next one, right? Like, because we we live in New York, mm. and and these these laws here is like close to is like none than close to none, right? And we, so we're gonna talk about these gun laws. Mm. And what do y'all feel about the gun laws? In I would say our state, right, or just anywhere. No, I would say just the city wise. Well, I'm gonna say gun laws in New York. The effect of them. You yeah. know, and should you have be able to mm-hmm. to have a, a carry permit like other states like Florida yeah. and all that other shit like um and how would you feel about them? Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's very strict in New York, that's one thing. It definitely is. Very like strict. that's one thing about New York, it's very strict with like laws. Like, like compared to other cities. Bro, it takes a it for a permit, bro, it takes months. Months for a permit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not lying. Like I, I'll be for it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'll be for it for for carry. I think they are trying to do some shit like that though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I've seen I've seen around where they've been talking about um people getting licenses for mm-hmm. for carry for and shit like that. Uh-huh. I mean, to a certain extent. I mean, I always feel like yeah. you need you need like a psychological background done or or some type of test to show to show that yeah. you're mentally stable enough to actually yeah, carry. Yeah, not, not everybody should be fucking yeah, allowed to. This is a deadly weapon, <laughs> nah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Real. Just like when you go to, like, like, oh, they test you before you do the, before you actually do the gun or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Like, you Well, you gotta get medical papers and course, all that shit. Yeah. Like, of course, because you, like, I mean, I mean, it's even hard to compare it to another, another thing, but having the gun laws is like the number, like, Number one thing because some states like you don't even need a license. Yeah, you could just walk in with a, a student ID. You know yeah. what I'm saying, and just buy a gun and then go to another store buy a bullet. You know I, what I'm saying? And it's I, just that easy. I I think they should restrict that. I think they should restrict that because that just gives anybody access to having a weapon. I know they do. You can walk, you can walk to Walmart and fucking buy a rifle and shit, mm-hmm. right? And you're allowed to have that in your house. And 
People should protect themselves. I mean, that's why I hold that whole gun buyback thing. I, I don't. I don't. It, that mm-hmm. is like basically showing the whole city. Yeah. That there's there's guns out there, bro, and anybody can get their hands on it. Nowadays, anybody yeah, can get anybody. Their fucking anybody. Hands on it. And then they'll tell you, oh, just bring us the gun. We'll give you a, a, a Target gift card. <laughs> Have a good, <laughs> have a good day. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nah, nah, nah. For example, too, like um, <clears throat> with um, with gun ranges, like you know, you can't like not anybody can't just go yeah. to to a gun range. You know, they do a background check. You know, if you if you had any criminal history, and then they will let you actually use and go in the range and start using the guns and everything. So yeah, yeah. it's just stuff like that. And I also heard that they was like they was gonna start checking into people's social medias, like mm-hmm. what they've been doing. I mean, social media because you never know. No, yeah. Like, even if they do do a background check and you got no criminal history, mm-hmm. social media, like what you've been posting, you know, yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. what you're going to get into. It's true because you might be post, you might have the most cleanest record, right? But you might be posting them. That's a fact. You yeah. just never got caught doing anything, like you, you yeah. over here looking like a savage on Instagram. Yeah, or facts, something facts. Like you got guns posting. everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> guns blazing. You got like, freaking guns out. galore. Like. <laughs> that's wild. And then, then you got them dudes who make their own bullets. Oh, that's Those crazy. are the scary ones, bro. Those are the ones. I mean, I know, yeah. I I know a few people that did, that did that. Oh, I know a few people that know people that does that, and that's scary, yeah. bro. I think. Well, well, yeah, it is scary. Mm-hmm. I think people should be educated on mm-hmm. weapons. Mm-hmm. No, you know sure, saying? I was definitely. I think people should be educated on things. Yeah. People and just like, going around right now, going crazy like the Wild Wild yeah. West, bro. Educated, like, educated as far as like <clears throat> like how to use like how, how to, to use handle it. one. Like, yeah, yeah, how to you know. It's I just, mean, because a lot of things you got to learn with that. Yeah, because that the reason why I say bullets is because if you know how to make a bullet, yo, yeah, forget about guns it. Guns can be made at home, bro. Yeah, they do that shit in jail. You know what I'm saying? You can be, we can make a, a gun anywhere, son, yeah. with a tattoo machine. That's crazy. As long as it has a pin to, to exactly, fuck. that's it to shoot. Boom. That, yeah. that was like like uh, my wife's aunt's ex husband who passed away. He he had a gun that he, was made. And fucking around, he put it to his head, boom, which it went off because it was yeah. made. Yeah, and, and you don't educate on, nah, that's the fucking Now man. imagine you call 911 and tell her he thought he shot a gun. Where was the gun from? Oh, he made That's it. spooky. So, 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 so what do y'all feel about the, the, these laws that they're trying to um, pull, push for New York? Uh, I mean, it's, I don't know. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to get, it's going to get worse. Mm-hmm. And that's the reason why I say that is because now they, they looking more into these robotics. To try to protect the city, you know what I'm saying. So now people feel like, like the iRobot movie that we mentioned in the last <laughs> episode, that yeah. they're gonna come up and about mm-hmm. that they need protection, yeah, from yeah. these things. You know what I'm saying. So uh, I think it's gonna get yeah. even more and more, like even crazier with the guns because of that one thing. Now it's gonna be the people versus, mm-hmm. you know what yeah. I'm saying. Well, but, well, besides e- e- even w- with that, like, should should you be allowed to like? Should they make it easier for you to obtain, in the sense of easier, but um, to be able to protect yourself, right? Because if if yeah. something happens, let's say whether well, it's home, I know they got steps that you can have a permit, the, mm-hmm. but you know when you're at home or somebody try to yeah. rob you, attack you in the streets, whatever, you know, because these laws here is, is way different than any other. Like and I mean, you was talking about the whole stand your ground stuff and all yeah, that, right? They should be less strict with that. The, you know what I'm self saying? Self-defense, right? Yeah. It's the self defense mm-hmm. thing because I felt like, well, New York don't got self defense, right? Mm-hmm. But then you was telling me that they do. They do, right? There I, is a stand your ground uh, in New York. There, there is. There's a certain like fine print to it, and if you don't read the fine the print, right there. if you don't read the fine print to it, it's literally gonna go over your head. There you go. And yeah. once that shit goes over your head, then you're fucked. Yeah, because if 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 somebody's literally coming at you, like we were talking off air, and they look like they really attempting to kill you, like take your life away, and you see something around you that can protect you, and something happens to them, that's self defense. That's yeah. that's basically like you stood your ground as a human being and protected your own life because this person. Now, New York City, in order for that to really happen, this person has to literally grab you. Yeah, and look like they're about to attempt you. Now, New York City, they stand more about the uh, uh, damn. I said it earlier. What was it called? Uh, the retreat. Um, yeah, the the duty to retreat yeah. law. That's the one that uh, uh, the fight or fleet thing. This is the fleet. Okay, yeah. This is the oh, I could. Yeah. I could go. I don't need to stay here and fight you. You got a knife. I'm leaving. Mm-hmm. That's the law that they, they use a lot in New York City. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Now, if this person grabs you that has the knife, grabs your arm, and you can't get, get off, but you do see something and you hit them with it, and something suddenly happens to that person, yeah. they die or something, that's self-defense because they grabbed you. You have evidence of that, then you're good to go. Yeah. So see how you said that, right? So look, look at the difference between New York and uh, I'm, I'm just, don't call me or anything. That woman in Chicago, I think it was Chicago, mm-hmm. that she was about to get robbed mm-hmm. and she pulled out her shit and just shot, boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. It was on camera and everything. Mm-hmm. She's she not getting locked up. She's not going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I mean, but I'm guessing that, see, but those, she she had a permit to carry or whatever the case. Mm-hmm. She okay, had a license yeah. to carry. But that's what I'm trying to say. Look at that right there. Somebody, she was permitted. She was permitted. To, yeah. Somebody came, they, robbed, they didn't have nothing on them, but they, they tried to rob and all that shit. And she told them, chill out, chill out, chill out. I'm yeah. going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. Boom. And Caught them. You know what I'm saying? It happened. Yeah. yeah, it just depends on the on, on, on the, like the situation. That is, like that, like that's what it is. It's true. That's why New York gives you fucked up laws. I, yeah. New York man, like, uh. I mean, because we do see all these videos of women getting attacked by all these men and this that, and the third. I'm man. with the whole permit type, all that license carry and all that. Be honest with you, like, I am too. Legally though, legally, and legally. you got at least psychological test done, uh, background check, fully background check. I'm talking about to like the day that yeah, you came out your mom type shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> <laughs> shit like they that. All the way back. To all the way yeah. back. You know what I'm saying? Because without that, then how would you know how this person is? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, facts. Yeah, like that, that's what I'm saying. Because. You could have killed ants with a magnifying mm-hmm. glass back in the day when you were <laughs> yeah. younger. And now when you're like fucking 19, that triggered again all yeah. over hey, You again. ever see your kids doing shit like that? Stop them right then and there in their yeah. tracks. Because that shit leads to somewhere crazy. That's yeah. what he's... Well, just right there. Maybe funny and all that shit, but this shit is real. These yeah. kids killing like little animals and all that shit. That leads to something crazy. Like but that's that another Jeffrey, topic. Yeah, like we, that Jeffrey Dahmer show we, on Yeah, Netflix, we, yeah. we going to talk about that. We got to have another topic on this <laughs> in another no, episode. It's true. It's true. But, so you know, like, like oh, yeah. if you guys was to own a, a business, right, and 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 somebody was to come in and rob, and you have a permitted gun uh-huh. under the counter, will you use it or yeah. let him rob it? No, I'm using it. The well, 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 I'm gonna, yo, you ain't robbing nothing. What I mean, if he got a gun towards me, yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to pull out and shoot. Okay. Like that's that's your life or his. I'm not. I'm not pulling out just to draw him, me and him looking I mean, at each other. Yeah, we draw guns like the Western. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we. Are. You gotta. You just holding the holster. On you know what I'm saying? Y'all both look at each other <laughs> with the Western. <laughs> nah, we ain't doing that. That's just gonna. That's just gonna be straight. <laughs> it's true. It's I mean, simple. I agree. I'm, I'm with that, but shit gotta be. You know, you're not being out here going crazy just shooting people because you want to shoot them and all that shit, yeah. like, or just because whatever it is you got beat, whatever the fuck it is, like. Do shit legally, like, and, it's sad, and pr- yeah. to protect yourself. Mm. It's sad too what's going on now too, especially with the whole um reform bill mm. and how they just let in anybody. Like you could get caught with one like illegally, and you could just come out literally like the next day. Yeah, and facts. it's sad what's going on because you let in all these you know these crazy people out, and they just looking, mm. you know, like yep. they just more trigger happy. So mm. the situation don't even got to be. You have like attempted murder and all that shit. You, you get even, bail. Yeah, how the hell like, is that possible? Not, pfft, because they, they, I guess they're not trying to over. I don't know, bro. This this fucking country is fucked up, bro. You know, overseas, like like you, they don't have guns. They got knives. They over here. On they got. It, they do that CCTV <laughs> shit. I know. Everything CCTV. Like I once know. they they, they cameras everywhere. But they, they they're different though. I don't know. Here in New York City, it is like 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 what you said a couple episodes ago. That everybody's on top of each other. A lot of so like what I was telling Izzy here was that when they do facial recognition in New York. The, the companies that are trying to sell it to companies here, like businesses, they not really don't have they don't really have that real upscale service because yeah. like they'll catch his picture mm-hmm. on facial recognition. Somebody will walk by with same skin complexion, same eyebrows, same beard, and pick that person up and say that's yeah. him. So now now they mistaken that person for mistaken identity. That's another lawsuit from a person to the city. Yeah. I don't know. It's you know just what I'm saying? Up. So that's really crazy. Like London got that shit down packed. Not nah, London. That's what I'm London saying. London, London is just definitely knives. Got they don't even use guns. It's no. just straight knives. Yeah. So you, you might just be walking down the street one day in London and just see somebody getting chased with a knife. It's true. It's, it's true. crazy. It's true. Or, or when you bump shoulder, shoulder to shoulder, right? And you turn around, they ain't going to pull out a gun. Niggas going to pull out a knife. Hold yeah. each other arm to arm and do that old school right West Side Story <laughs> dance, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> shit like that. that, that uh, that's cool shit. instead of fucking shooting each yeah. other up, you know? What nah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like, you know, I know we're not, you know, 
too deep into the gun laws and everything, like into intricate and everything. But you know, a lot of these laws gotta change. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these laws gotta change. Yeah, you got people scared out here, you know, because they they scared for their lives of everything that's going around. Like that's that's going around. Mm-hmm. Going you know, around this. So. Yeah, bro. They, these these. Yo, youngest got fucking wild ratchets now, bro. Like switches on them, extendos, and mm-hmm. all that extra shit, man. Like you can't even handle it. Jesus Christ, nah, I'm, I don't know what they can. But that's staying away from that, bro. This is why, and this is what I'm trying to say. I'm with the whole legally, you know what I'm but they make it impossible. New York make it makes it impossible for you to obtain that yep. that type of stuff, yeah. right? It makes it impossible for us. And then when something happens, then now we can't protect ourselves yep. behind that shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? We gotta so wait, we gotta wait three hours for the cops to. Burn. Come on, bro! Like, <laughs> come on, man! It's like, it's it is ridiculous. They 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 put you through hoops, loops, and all that shit, bro. Like, mm-hmm. so it's crazy. It is. But listen, everybody. Uh, you know what? It's real quick before we end this. Right, I wanna I wanna go back to thing because I wanna remind y'all right that today is the fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this man right here said. Uh. He's going for Garcia. I know y'all. a lot of y'all are too. I know a lot of y'all are too. Right? Me and this man right here, we know. It's Tank. Right? We'll see. Tank. Take us home, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all. Everybody stay blessed. Stay productive. Stay positive. Peace, bless, love. Give thanks that to that man love. above. Live, love, prosper. Let's go. Let's go.